How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to an episode of Getting Jiggly With It. I'm Will, and today we're opening up our Kickstarter Isle Cats um, bundle, things that we got from the Kickstarter. So this was from the uh, Kittens and Beast Kickstarter. So this was the expansion, of course. We've already played Isle of Cats. We have some gameplay video up on the channel, solo and co-op. Well, not co-op, there's really not co-op mode. Uh, family mode and regular mode. Uh, you can check those videos out, of course. We will be playing kittens and beasts at some point so hit that subscribe button that way you can watch that video when we go live uh but we got was the kittens and beats beat kittens and beasts not beats beats are things with music or the little purple things that taste delicious uh the boat pack the kickstarter pack and then we did grab the kickstarter pack from the first kickstarter since we missed it as well as upgrading our uh big old bag of cats right uh, so with that said, let's go ahead and get the camera switched over and we'll go through each of these boxes. All right, so here we go. This is the, well, I'm saying here we go and there's nothing in the screen. So here we go. We will start with the, I guess the kittens and beasts because that's probably what most people want to see. Uh, but of course there will be timestamps down below to each of the boxes. Uh, but this is the kittens and beast expansion. This adds two new game modes or three new game modes, I can't remember which, uh, where you've got kittens, which are little one-by tiles, and then you have the beasts, which have some extra game mechanics. Um, and I think there was some challenges or something. Yeah, events, okay, so there is three. So you get kittens, uh, which focus on rescuing kittens, uh, build friendships with your beasts, so that way they can expand on your boat, and then events, which basically will change the way the game plays from round to round. All right, so wait. So this is one of Audrey's favorite games. It's one of mine as well. If you check out our top 10 videos that we did for last year, this, I believe, I know it made Audrey's. I can't remember if it made mine. Go check out the videos. You'll know whether it did. I think it did make our games we enjoyed playing together the most. Um, I did not pick up now just as a, I did not pick up the late arrivals. So we're not going to be opening the late arrivals. And the reason is with the boat pack and all the extra tiles you're getting, I don't think there's a reason by the late arrivals. That gave you two more boats and a bunch more tiles. That's really what it did. So you could have more players. I don't know. If, if somebody's played six players without the, the late arrivals, let me know if you've run out of tiles. So here we go. So here is the rule book. So we go over the kittens expansion, setup, gameplay, how to place kittens, and it shows you a nice little example there with the kitten. So I thought they were all one buys, but it looks like they're just like small tiles because that's a that's a like a three, an ang a corner. Uh, one and then here's the beast so look at i mean each one of these modes is only one additional one additional page of rules really so it doesn't look like it'll be too much to add each one of them to a uh game now the events okay the events take a little bit more because it goes over the components and the setup and then you've got your gameplay for the events uh, and then you have these royal rats okay so it's explaining each of the i think the different methodology so you have royal rats you have vesh's boat is on a particular tile you have to gain points for every treasure in the boat and then solo mode so that's how you use it all in solo faq and then the event tiles okay the description of what each of the event tiles do so there's a lot of event tiles all right and then we have the kittens beast and family rules um so that's nice so you can play it in family mode as well so the biggest difference between family mode and regular mode and it's nice as game has it family mode you're just you're just collecting the tiles it's really all you're doing regular mode of course you're needing to do the card drafting to then select turn order and then you have to get enough baskets and it's just more advanced you're spinning fish as a resource so there's more involved so i do like that they made the expansions good for the family mode as well now normally i do a reboxing um i might go grab my core box um so there may be like a jump cut halfway through here unless oddity comes out at some point and she can hand it to me um but here we go so here is so you get a blue bag a green bag a rojo red bag so nothing fancy just little bags uh, plastic baggies because we always want plastic baggies um, you have a new set of score pads not sure why i don't see i don't see anything on here being okay there you go you got your beast and event lines okay 
So new score pads for the beast and the events. So new cards here. So family in the green and then the regular blue ones. So just more lessons that you can actually add to the game. Now they say you're not supposed to add all the lessons because of course it'll delete, dilute it too much. So you're supposed to take one lesson set out and then add this in its place. Um, these all though ever, however, have ones. These all have regular lesson one. So I think these just get added no matter what, because they say one. And then you have the family lessons. So in the family mode, you basically everybody gets a lesson. Of course, in the drafting mode, you have to pay for the lessons that you're going to get. Okay. Put you here. All right. And then we got our cardboard. Now, this is one thing I did notice. Unfortunately, they made these boxes like the exact size of the components almost. And so these boards are actually too big for the box. So I got to... I, I got it out earlier. Can I get one of these out so I can see it this way? There we go. I think I pushed these back in there. This was not them. I, I do have to I do have to give a little caveat with that. This was me pushing them back in and putting the rules and all that stuff on top. If I remember correctly, these were on the top. Uh, and I shoved them back in here. So this is all on me. But I can't get them out. Ugh. Got the last one here. Yeah, that's the last one. Woo! All right. So this is the um, new board. I think this is for the events. Um, so there is the regular mode. Oops. Regular mode. And then the family mode. And then we have our event tiles, I think, or not sure. And we got some new baskets. We got some new tiles with some cute little kitties so these i'm not sure which tile what these tiles are but we'll have to pop all this out because like i said if we're gonna try to make it all fit in the war box so these are fives they're popping out okay this is where when i do a short unboxing this is already done for me so of course we have started doing some short unboxings for games that don't have a lot of components or games that we just don't want to talk about or need to show off. So for example, a game with minis, probably not going to do a short unboxing. And even if we do, there will still be a detailed unboxing. Uh, but you guys let us know which do you prefer, just a quick short unboxing or watching me spend way too much time popping out components because I didn't do a short unboxing. That's because this came in the mail like yesterday. So it's just... It just came in the mail like a day ago. All right, so here are the fives. So we have fives, we have ones, we have these. So this is this is where we do if we do uh, we need to do combined unboxings because then while I'm rambling and showing the next component, Oddity sits over here and pops this stuff out. Or Oddity can talk and ramble while I pop everything out. So it's all popping out really nice. Um, it is mixed though. So like here you'll see we have the beasts. So you kind of have to look, because these are the kittens, kittens. I don't feel like it's a different quality than the uh, the base game. It really does feel like it's the same. We make it. We should make this. We can make it an ASMR video, and just put the microphone closer to what I'm popping out, <laughs> and then we make it an ASMR video. Let's see. Here's some more ones. I don't know. I don't know what the one tiles are. It's been a long time. That's a problem with Kickstarters, or not to say a problem, but I guess it's a. It's good and bad, right? The good thing is you've forgotten everything about it, so you get excited when you get it. But the bad is you forgot everything about it, so you can't remember how the game played, what the mechanics, what it added to the to the original game. So it's like, uh, why did I get this again? Oh, cute kittens. That's why I got it because of the cute kittens. Let's see here. Can I get this stuff out quicker? I don't think there's any way to get this stuff out quicker. All right. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. I'm doing it actually pretty quick. All right. So here's the fives. Another one. 
All right, last board. Okay. We have some boots, some permanent boots. Or maybe, I think these are one time. If I remember correctly, I think these are part of the events, I think. And then these are, are one time, one time deals. That's what those are. More beasties, more ones, more kittens. Some of them are snagging just a little bit, so do be careful when you're popping them. A couple of them, a couple of them felt like they were snagging just a little bit. And then these are the event tiles. Yeah, see, like that one, that one snagged just a, just a touch. Uh, and you actually, it's better to do them from the back. Well, I was gonna say it's better to do it from the back. Not in this case. That actually did not work any better. It made a liar out of me. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. All right. So now the key question is, what goes in what bag for randomization purposes? So the red is the beast bag. And it's the biggest, so that makes sense. All you beasties go in here. All the beasties in the beast bag. All right, the green is the kitten bag. Again, makes sense. It is the next biggest bag. All right. Zoop. And the events go in the event bag. Uh-oh, we got a kitten. We got a kitten on the loose. Come here, kitten. Get inside your bag with your brethren. All right, there we go. Zoop, zoop, zoop. All right, so that's that, that's that. Here's all these pieces, so we'll throw you guys in a baggie. Uh, so we got how many baggies did they give us? I think three. So oh, there's a baggie for them. So they gave us four baggies. We don't need four baggies. I guess if you wanted to separate the boots in those baskets, but yeah, they're close enough. All the fives go in that baggie. And all the ones go in this here baggie. Uh, I forget what these were called. So. All right, we're going to throw all this up in here. We'll get the, well, I'll go get the big box, like I said, and we will try to get it all to fit in one box. Actually, I have two baggies left. So we got extra baggies. So yeah, we'll, we'll push this up. Oh, hang on, we got to do one more thing. One more thing for this box. You gotta look at the meeples. That's like the most important part of the game. Now these are not the screen printed. The screen printed did come in the um, Kickstarter box. So we'll see those when we go into the Kickstarter box. So this is the first thing is the beasties. So we get, we got this little blue, little blue beastie here. We got a, a doggy, like a doggy beastie. Uh, hippogriff. Oh, can't even really see him. Is a hippogriff. And what else we got? We got like a bear deer thing. <laughs> and then I think, oh, one more left. Uh, a, I don't know what that is. A cat deer thing. Hmm. Not sure. All right. So we will put all of you guys back in your bag. Now, this is the only thing. I'm going to end up with, like, double beasties. And for me, it was the OCD. So I ended up getting the big big beast pack, right? And then I also had the... And there's another free baggie. And I also got the... Well, I got the big beast pack, right? We said I got the big beast pack. I got that, or the big cat pack. I got that because I got the big beast pack as part of the Kickstarter exclusives. But the thing is, I don't think you use the screen printed cats. Like, I think they're just extras because these are bigger than the ones that came in the in the main game. Right. And then those are your racks for the uh, expansion. Kind of hard to see. Uh, my lighting is a little bit low today. So I, I covered up the window over there because last time it was too much. Um, but I forgot to raise my lights. So they're a little bit too low, I think, for doing this live and I learn so hopefully we get a bigger house at some point and we can 
basically uh, be able to have a dedicated space where we can make sure we get the lighting just the way it needs to be, the cameras just the way they need to be. All right, so this is the boat pack. So what this does, it adds um, six more boats. So you have some variety. Now there is a replacement boat. So, and then you get these, which show basically where each of the rooms are. Um, and there's one we'll see in here that's got a wheel in the middle. I'm confused what it says. It says that the center for like scoring purposes is the seven tiles to one side and the nine tiles to the other, which doesn't make any sense. I'll show you when we get to that board. All right, so let's slide this up so we can actually unfold the boards. All right, so this is the first board uh, here. So you can see it's definitely a different design. You've got different outcroppings. Um, there's no difficulty rating though. Like it would be nice if they kind of, if these are rated by difficulty, I don't know. And I'd imagine somebody on, on BGG would eventually do it. And then you can see that the family side, that back side is actually easier to do. So it's a little bit less um, difficult. See this one, you got these little humps. And then on the family side, you don't have that. So that is one board. And we got this one here. So this is the regular side. So here it is, the wheel. So it says it's the so many to the left and so many to the right, but that doesn't make sense. One, two, three, four, five. There's only five here, not six. And then if I went to the left, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that works there, but I, maybe it did say five. Maybe it's the five and the seven. But yeah, so it says this is the center, is these two rows, I think, on this board. Uh, and then family mode, they got rid of it. It's just basically two little, I don't know, round, round shaped pieces. All right. Uh, and then we got this one here. So rooms, same. This is the same. They added an extra room here. Okay. So you don't have that center room anymore. You have this room up here, and then this room is split. And then the family mode. So family still have the dining, still have those. The back changed. It's got these little castle things in the back. Uh, that's the same. So just slight difference on that one. Oh my God. Oy. So here's the other thing. Because you're getting all these, you're getting six of these basically. So if you're going to play with these boards and everybody plays with these boards, you have a six player game now. So I'm really, like the late arrivals, I'm really not sure if it's even needed anymore. Um, so two rooms here, room, room, and then two rooms there. So that's definitely different. Um, okay, so oh, here's a family mode with the wheel. Now that's that's kind of confusing to me. Like I would think they would just put the matching ones on the same board, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Because this one, let me check. Where's the where's the one with the wheel? Which one? Is it this one? Yeah. All right. So if I compare the two. Yeah, they're the exact same board. Okay. So the family boards are the same as the other side. It's just they're not on the back of that same board. I guess that makes sense because one thing with the family mode is it says you can do is you can actually play, one person can play on the family side while the other plays on the regular side because the, well, no, because the family board should be easier and they're not, they're the same. So I technically now I don't know why they did that. I was making something up there that didn't make any sense. So I'm not sure why they're not, why they didn't do that. So now that I know that, I don't have to keep showing you guys the back of the boards. All right, well, there's only two left anyway, so. What ebbs? All right, so we have this one here. So it's a big, long room. Wow, that's that's not gonna be fun. I guess maybe it's it'll be easier though, right? Because you have the kittens. The kittens can fill that kind of stuff in. Uh, so two rooms there, two rooms there. And then the last one is this one, which we saw, of course, on the kitten board, right? So it's a castle kind of in the back. Uh, this is pretty much about the same. Looks like this, I think, is shrunk in a little bit. Right. So those are the boats. So this is going to be the part that's going to be whether or not it will fit in the uh, four box. And so I think this is what's going to kind of be the make or break. All right. So this is the... Kickstarter pack numero dos. So this is the stuff that was from this Kickstarter. Right. So we have the meeples, we got some new cards. 
and we got some extra tiles. And this is why I say when you get the Kickstarter packs, you're going to get some new tiles. So really those new tiles kind of can replace the tiles that the uh, late arrivals get. So Kickstarter pack two are your components, family mode. So it's Oshax kittens. So this added some Oshax kittens that you didn't get in the regular one. Uh, and then you get some additional event tiles. So it's up there with all the, all the rule books, you know, a big pile of rule books. All right. So yeah, so aren't they cute? Look at, look at how cute the little kittens are. They're so cute. All right, so we got kittens. All right, so these ones are a little bit easier to keep track of because they are... Um, oh, you got regular cats. Yes, yeah, so we got some regular cats. We got some kittens. So these I got to kind of keep more separated. Got to keep them separated. Da, 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 da. So yeah, so we will be playing this on the channel. I don't know how many gameplays i don't know if we're just going to add the kittens and the beasts all at one time and the events or if we'll split it up into three different videos i think timing is really the key of what how much time we have and what what we want to show off right making multiple videos is good because yeah you get multiple videos out of it so multiple uh multiple streams but unfortunately when you have so many games to play and so much time kind of have to uh pick your battles so this goes there that goes there and then we got some more event tiles all right so i kind of need my bags again don't i there are me bags from the last one all right so we got more event tiles go on there event tiles Whoop. i guess we're gonna be playing well i was gonna say now this doesn't this doesn't currently mess up the game um <laughs> by adding these in the Oshacks go in there. Or the Oshacks are normally separate. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Uh, and then the Beasties go in there. All right. And then these guys, I got to wait till I get the uh, the, the big box. because. Right. Um, so that is, I didn't get that. There was a big box with a wood insert that allowed for easy setup. I, I didn't... I don't know. I'm 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 still kind of new to the hobby, and like inserts didn't seem that important to me. Um, I still don't quite feel that the easy setup insert is needed because I've never had much trouble setting this game up, anyways. So these are the chonky, chonky meeps. So these are the big boys. So they're a lot larger uh, than the ones that come in the box. Let's let's get one of the. Here we go. Let's do a, some size comparisons. Let's do some size comparisons. So this is the Kickstarter upgrade. And this is the thing. This came free in this Kickstarter. I think even in the last Kickstarter, you had to pay to upgrade to the big cats. So this is the difference between the two. Um, more board presence, but I honestly cannot... I don't think you're supposed to use these because they're too big for the tiles. So, I mean... If you do like this, see how it's covering like three tiles. I mean, you could do it like that if you want them standing up. So I'm not technically sure if these should be played in the game or if they were just supposed to be for like, oh, I have these cool extra <laughs> meeples for things. Um, I know some Kickstarters do that, right? Uh, but I do like the screen print. They do look really good. So that's like the little sea serpent thing. Uh, this was what I was, see, this I was calling a hippogriff but it actually looks like some kind of like chameleon gecko thing with some weird green uh, wings going on. Uh, this I was right. So it's like a little bear, like deer horns, little antlers. Um, and then, yeah, this is like a, he's like a fire cat. So he's actually more like a cat than a, than a uh, beastie. And that was the doggy. And that's everybody. That is all of the beasties. And they'll go back in the back. Nice chunky bits. Nice chunky bits. And then the last thing are the new cards that get added from the Kickstarter. Now these ones should be specific. So you have okay, so they're all they're all for regular gameplay. 
So it's Rescue 1. So this is called the Rescue 1 set, which makes sense because it was like Rescue the Kittens, Rescue the Beasts. Um, so this you would add in place of one of the other modules. So here you go, take one tile from the bag at random and immediately place it on your boat. I've seen that before though. Draw two cards, uh, take treasures, 10 points if you have at least four different, seven points if you have five family. These seem like, these seem like ones I've already seen. Now this is new, I don't remember the old one having the uh, art. Uh, there you go, when used, you must remove both baskets immediately, one after the other, before any other turns are taken. Huh, must resolve both. Oh, because it's two. Ah, they're double baskets. So these are all doubles. So two boots. So the double basket. So, okay, so that's kind of neat because with the kittens, that comes in as a very big power play, right? Because you want to be able to get out there and get some of those kittens quicker. Whereas with the regular piles, you're kind of like, yeah, yeah, I want that purple. Oh, they took the purple from me. Maybe it'll come out in another round. Don't know, All right? All right, so let's look at the Kickstarter pack number uno, and we'll look at the we'll look at the big bag of meeples at the same time, same as we did here. Uh, I can't compare them because uh, I don't have the other box. So maybe before I do the big bag of cats, I'll I'll go grab the other box so I can do a comparison. All right, so here is the so the original game or the original Kickstarter did come with a couple of the meeples, and then you could upgrade and get more. Uh, six large cat meeples, uh, and it's here. See, this is, why, this is why I'm confused of what the big meeples are for. Uh, these should be used for player pieces to represent each player in the turn order track. So it's basically just six colored meeples for six player game that you can use in that track. So I'm kind of confused when you get a whole bag of them. Now you don't get the Oshaks though, because the Oshaks acts as another color. But here you get the Oshaks because of the, uh, to have six colors, six players. Uh, you get four more Oshax tiles, lesson module, and discovery cards. Uh, the Isle of Cats Kickstarter contains upgraded components and new content for the game. So that's what we're getting. All right, put you over there. So we get some more kitties. We got some Oshaxes. Uh, these feel a little different, oddly enough. Um, and I'm thinking, so these may, I don't, I thought they reprinted all of them. But maybe they weren't printed in the same factory. I uh, got some new treasures. Yeah, so these are yeah, these are neat. These are different treasures than the ones we've had before. Uh, so you got this one here with the kitty on it. You got this one here which has a uh, like a bird with a shield. And you got this one here with the compass. All right. More Oshaxes. and Moss got those. All right, well that's all kitties. Kitties. Over there, more kitties. Over there, and treasures over there as well. All right, so new modules. New modules are always good. Right, go over there. So this is lesson zero. Okay, so this is a module. So lesson zero module, public lesson E. Let's see here near and then you got public lesson f so this is where i said you take some of these out and just swap them out with the core game um treasure that one doesn't have a that one doesn't have a, a lesson on it so i guess this these ones go in no matter what yeah so treasure lesson one lesson one lesson one uh anytime and then these say rescue. Okay, no, this is rescue. I was saying the other one was rescue one, but no, I guess this is not a module because it doesn't have a module name. Hmm. Oh, th there it is. It's the it's the symbol in the corner. So this has this pink, pink little guy in the corner. These ones have a little lightning bolt in the corner. So they're they're different. Okay, so this this whole thing is the module. All right. So definitely don't. Well, I was gonna say definitely don't want to mix these up, but now I don't have anywhere to hold those, so they don't get mixed up. All right. So let me um, let me grab the 
big box and that way we can do a comparison with the big box. Okay, so we are back. Now I went and grabbed the big box or the core box. I kept going to the big box because it's you know bigger than these little ones. Uh, the core box, but we still hadn't gone through the fish, but I guess we can show the difference in the tokens as well. So I can show the upgraded fish tokens. Here we go. All right, so in the core game, you get just regular cardboard tokens which technically won't have to go in the box anymore that's one so normally i'll do that i'll take whatever is not needed anymore and i'll end up tossing it in one of the expansion boxes and then i'll put the expansion box inside of a box inside of the attic it's a box section uh, but you do get these upgraded nice chunky chunky bits so these are the 5.1 ones um, you, you still, you still can't really tell that it's five points, that these two are supposed to be point markers. We usually count them as three. We've never ran out, um, but that is the default. You get that right there. So we're going to go ahead and set you guys aside. Actually, technically, I can take all you guys out and let's use this bigger bag. Whoop. Or, well, no, that way they're not mixed. We'll... we'll Undo that, Will. Undo that. So, just so that they're not next. I'm going to throw them all in the little bag, and that way the fives are separated from the ones, and then I don't have to worry about separating them when I set up the game. Be more efficient, not less efficient. All right. And then, oh, that's the boat from the core game, so definitely don't want to get that in there. And then we have these a key. So, these are the single fishies. And those replace a single fishy tile. All right. Oh, I just dumped that tile in there. All right. So there we go. Those are the fishies. So we won't need these fishies anymore. Take you. Just toss you up inside. I guess the Kickstarter one box makes the most sense since that's what these came out of. We'll toss you up there. Tools. Uh, we want the regular meeples. So here are the regular meeples that you get for the game. Um, these are the chonky ones that are supposed to be replacements for the first player tokens. Right, so you get the green one, azul, azul, naranja, blanco, morado, y Rojo, roja, gato, rojo. <laughs> Although I guess it could be chica, so it'd be gata. No, it's incorrect. Um, and then we got, where's my big bag of meeples? Where'd my big bag of meeples go? Where'd I put it? They're right, they're right up here in front. Of me. Then a snake, it would have bit me, but they're cats. Although some cats bite too, so. All right. Big bag of meeples. Um, oh, and they each come in their own bag, so don't need this bag. All right. So actually, technically, let me do this. Don't don't ask what I'm doing. Don't, don't ask. So if I take... Because then I can use this bag for other things. There we go. Boop. I mean, technically, you could leave these in if you are playing and you need you need enough points. So, like, a higher player counts, maybe you would want to keep these in. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what fits in the box first. Okay. So, you get... Let's see how many of these you get. So, you get one, two, three, four, five. So, you get six. And the original game came with... One, two, three, four, five, six. So you get the same number. That's why I'm confused, because these are big. Like, you don't use these in the game unless you are doing an Oshax. And then I think the beasts, you use them for the beasts as well. I think there's some functionality with the beasts. Then what do you use the beast meeples for? Uh, but here's, here's the size difference between the small... The original, you know, and then the screen printed. So I, I don't know. I don't. Probably didn't need them. 
my OCD though, if I was playing with the beast and I was playing with the beast with the screen print, I'd want, you know, all of them to be screen printed. So, and I think they're identical. I don't think there's any difference between these. I mean, there's probably no reason for me to show you the rest of them. But I think they're the exact same. Yep. Yeah, so it's the same, same chunky boy. So we'll just put it, we'll just combine these with the other bag that they came out of. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, probably, I'll probably go look up on Board Game Geek and ask, and it's probably, honestly, it's just, like, I'm trying to figure out why it said, don't use these for these, but then, like I said, you have these. And then these are all mixed. And these are all separate. That's a little annoying. I told you, man, OCD. OCD is a killer. And so we'll put... I'd want all those guys in their own individual bags, too. Or, I just throw everybody in one bag. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Everybody's going in one bag. Why not? Why is there? Why do these need to be in separate bags? It doesn't make sense. These don't need to be in separate bags. Put all you guys in one bag. You're trying to conserve space. And while baggies don't take up much space, they take up a little bit of space. Oop. And I'll need one more bag to combine all of the regular vehicles. Okay. All right. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And... Another bag. This is probably a bag from another unboxing, so yay for me. Maybe not for you. <laughs> I get these being separated, but like these really don't. I mean, there's not really a reason for them to be separated, I don't think. I mean, you can just reach and grab the color you need. Now, I do know that some people buy extra meeples for other games, like you can just use them on other games. I haven't found a purpose to use meeples from one game into another game. If you guys know of a reason, let me know. Because <laughs> I don't know of a reason. Why would I want to do that? All right. There, we got meeples, meeples. So, same thing. I don't know what I, if I want to keep these in the box. We'll see what all fits. All right, so let's see what we can get to fit. So there's your old score pad, new score pad. So I don't even know if we need the old score pad anymore. Um, bag of cats and rare treasures, right? There's all my cats, yeah, cats, cats, cats. Do the O'Shacks go in here? I can never remember. No, the O'Shacks do not go in there. So the O'Shacks are separate. Um, and the Oshak's Kittens, let me see here. Uh, Oshak Kittens follow normal rules for both Oshak's and Kittens with the exception of the basket restriction detail below. They are drawn from the kitten bag placed in the kitten board during phase four. Okay, so Oshak's Kittens go in the bag. Regular Oshak's did not go in the bag. Okay, that's different. Right, so we got some new Oshaxes over here. I think it was six, right? One, two, three, four, five. Is it five or six? Mm. Um, four. One, two, three, four, four. Okay, so we got four new Oshax. Put that in my Oshax bag. My Oshucks bag. We're we'll going there. These are the commons. These are your permanent baskets. All of you guys, and join all your friends in here. More kittens. More rare treasures. More earthquakes. Is you know I'm just whacking the camera today. All right. So whoop. there we go. Lots of bags. All right. Then we have all of our old cards, our original cards. So I bag my cards. So that's normally what I do. So let me go do the same with this. So that way they don't get uh, mixed up. So do I have a bag that they'll fit in? 
Nope. That's not gonna work. Ah, the big, the big bag that we just used earlier. There we go. All right, so we put these in here. So I have, so the way I do this um, is I have the boards, and then I have the cards over here. So I can take these boards, take the new boards, let's put them here. So that is a lot of boards. Okay. And then the cards slide perfectly like down along this side. I just shove them all down in here, Not including the new ones. Right, um, and then we have nipples, nipples. Oops, more cards, more nipples, uh, bits and bobs. More there, more there. There. Right. Um, those there. There. More there. More there. Uh, I think my instructions are all the way down on the bottom. But that's fine. Oh no, here they are. They're at the top because they're really big. Alright. Um, more tiles. Chew down here with the island. Right. So I'll hold you up. No, well, maybe not, because that's making it kind of bulky. Alright, so that fits fine. Take one there. One there. And let me put you over here instead. Put you there. One there, one there, one there. Uh, rule books or in scoring. Bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. And the lid. And there's bare. That's, yeah, there's no. There's not really a lot of lid left now. Of course. It, it lifts if you don't touch it, but I mean, it all fit. It fit perfectly fine. Um, and that was with me putting the extra tokens. Like I put everything back in this box. So somebody else said it was a tight fit. Now I could see this being a very tight fit if you did have the late arrivals, because with the late arrivals, you're gonna have two more boards and then you're gonna have some more tiles and some more cards. So I would say with the late arrivals, you probably would need to take out the duplicate meeples, the duplicate cat meeples, the duplicate beast meeples, and the older fish tokens, right? Uh, again, the fish tokens, I think, are going to be based on your experience with um, how the game or how you've played with that many people. All right. Let me go ahead and switch the camera back over. Whoops. Hang on. Always, always happens. Guaranteed. You're gonna leave one piece out of the box. Um, let's just put you somewhere where I won't lose you. And earthquake again. All right, there we go. All right, guys, there we go. That is Isle of Cats, um, or at least the Isle of Cats Kittens and Beast expansion, along with whatever else we picked up on the Kickstarter. Uh, if you wanna watch this live gameplay, make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, bell notification. Normally I upload the video on the same day that we're going to be doing or I at least released the video the same day that we're going to do the live gameplay. So you should be able to go out to our scheduled live streams, hit that reminder that we get double notification. Well, I think you still only get one notification, but you'll be notified. Guaranteed to be notified if you hit that reminder button of when we go live. Also, let us know. Would you like to just see us play everything all together once done, get the video out of the way? Or would you like to see each pack by itself so that way it can be focused on independently? Let us know down in the comments how you want to see us play it. Until next time, guys. Peace.